Judges chapter 9, verses 26 onwards. One day, Gil, son of Ebed, moved to Sachem with his brothers and gained the confidence of the leading citizens of Sachem. During the annual harvest festival at Sachem, held in the temple of the local god, the vine flowed freely and everyone began cursing Abimelech. Who is Abimelech? Gil shouted. He is not a true son of Sachem. So why should we be his servants? He merely is the son of Gideon, and this Zebul is merely his de deputy. Serve the true sons of Hamer, the founder of Sachem. Why should we serve Abimelech? If I were in charge here, I would get rid of Abimelech. I would say to him, get some soldiers and come out and fight. But when Zabu, the leader of the city, heard what Gail was saying, he was furious. He sent messengers to Abimelech in Aruna. Tell him, Gail, son of Yabet, and his brothers have come to live in Sachem, and now are, and now they are inciting the city to rebel against you. Come by night with an army and hide out in the fields in the morning as soon as it is daylight attack the city when Gil and those who are and those who are with him come out against you you can do with them as you wish. So Abimelech and all his men went by night and split into four groups stationing themselves around Sachum. Gil was standing in the at the city gates when Abimelech and his army came out of hiding when Gil saw them, he said to Zebu, Look, there are people coming down from the hilltops. Zebu replied, It's just the shadows on the hills that look like men. But again, Gil said, No, people are coming down from the hills, and another group is coming down the road past the diviner's oak. Then Zebu turned on him and asked, Now where is that big mouth of yours? Wasn't it you that said, Who is Abimelech and why should we be his servants? The men you mock are outside. The men you mock are right outside the city. Go out and fight them. So Gael led the leading citizens of Sachem into battle against Abimelech. But Abimelech chased him, and many of Sachem's men were wounded and fell along the road as they retreated to the city gate. Abimelech returned to Aruma, and Zebul drove Gil and his brothers out of Sachem. The next day, the people of Sachem went out into the fields to battle. When Abimelech heard about it, he divided his men into three groups and set an ambush in the fields. When Abimelech saw the people coming out of the city, and uh, when Abimelech saw the people coming out of the city, he and his men jumped up from their hiding places and attacked them. Abimelech and his group stormed the city gate to keep the men of Sachem from getting back in, while Abimelech's other two groups cut them down in Abimelech's other two groups cut them down in the fields. The battle went on all day before Abimelech finally captured the city. He killed the people, leveled the city, and scattered salt all over the ground. When the leading citizens who lived in the tower of Sachem heard what he heard what had happened, they ran and hid in the temple of Baal Barit. Someone reported to Abimelech that the citizens had gathered in the temple, so he led his forces to Mount Zelmon. He took an axe and chopped down and chopped some branches from a tree, then put them on his shoulder. Quick, do as I have done, he told his men. So each of them cut down some branches, following Abimelech's example. There part the branches against the walls of the temple 
and set them on fire. So all the people who had lived in the Tower of Saturn died, about 1,000 men and women, and Abimelech attacked the town of Thebes and captured it. But there was a strong tower inside the city, sorry, inside the town, and all the men and women, the entire population, fled to it. They barricaded themselves in and climbed up to the roof of the tower. Abimelech followed them to attack the tower, but as he prepared to set the... Uh, as he prepared to set fire to the entrance, a woman on the roof dropped a millstone that landed on Abimelech's head and crushed his skull. He quickly said to his, he quickly said to his young armor bearer, "Draw your sword and kill me. Don't let it be said that a woman killed Abimelech." So, the young man ran him through with his sword, and he died. When Abimelech's men saw that he was dead, they disbanded and returned to their homes. In this way, God punished Abimelech for the evil he had done against his father by murdering his 70 brothers. God also punished the men of Sachem for all their evil. So the curse of Jotham, son of Gideon, was fulfilled. It's the word of God.